Hello, it's the Yak. Presented by Roback, Roback.com, R H O B A C K dot com. Use promo code Take. No. Promo code Yak. Promo code Yak. Yes. Twenty percent off. I'm wearing the Roback joggers right now. Q zips, polos, hoodies, every customized ones over there. Mm-hmm. I have a customized Wisconsin one. There's like the boys one right next to this Nick. The boys. That yeah. one's dope as It's heck. the best. Roback.com, the most comfortable clothes out there. Perfect for this season, spring, going into summer. You get the hoodie, the lightweight hoodie. Maybe it's a little warmer out. You switch to the polo. Roback.com. Use promo code TAKE. Yak. Come on. How did I do that again? Promo code YAK. Promo code YAK. Don't you only use promo code YAK for 20% off all performance hoodies, joggers, and polos with code YAK. Get ready to spring into spring with Roback. Hello, everyone. I, uh... My the the what are they called? I I think I don't want to say it. Wax bottles, right? Yeah, yeah, wax, wax bottles. bottles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've arrived. Sixteen pounds of them. That was a little ambitious of me. So please, we gotta get going. So how does it work? You eat the go. You, I'll you, show you, you bite off the yeah yeah. yeah. You bite off the top and you spit it. Like is it all edible? Squeeze it. No, it's juice. not. And then you chew the wax. Yeah. Until you swallow it. No. Mm-hmm. What? You have been swallowing them, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found them on someone else's desk the other day and tried to eat them, but I didn't know how. I didn't know mm, if I was, what I was see. supposed to swallow or not. I put like six of them in my hoodie pocket on Friday, and then I forgot, and I was running around afterwards, and then towards the end of the day, I reached in my hoodie pocket, and it was just a ball of juice and wax, and like every crumb from my pockets that... You're yeah. a fucking slob, Kate. Oh, yeah. It's very fun to chew on. <laughs> you disgust me, Kate. <laughs> How's the experience, Kyle? How's it feeling? I got to remind myself that the payoff for the impulse buys are never worth it. Uh, As I sit with my 16 pounds of wax bottles and my restaurant peepers. Uh, yeah, you are surrounded by it. <laughs> I like impulse buys. Yeah, all, I do too. I, I think yeah. all of my buys are impulse. Yeah. It's it's good if you can sell them for charity later on. Yeah. There's like a cycle of impulse buy that you can flip back to the consumer mm-hmm. and say it's for charity. Speaking of which, we raised 14000 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brandon took all that money and went to buy a house in Chicago. Yeah, he's just gone. Damn. Next day, gone. He's a grifter. Yeah. The he's he's on his Dole's house shit. Yeah. Oh he's on yeah. His Sean White shit. Yeah. Yep. Sean White still grift. Sean White. Why, why would uh, he? The, what do you mean, the, what do you mean no grift? Quarter? No quarterback. No, the guy. Oh, that's Sean King. Sean b- King. Sean King. Bottom five. Oh, my brain is not on today. Sean King. I have March Madness fatigue. My brain, I haven't had a coherent thought in about three weeks. I need it to end. I don't know how you guys do those those really long streams long, and then just yeah. run it back. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Nope. You need to take more vacations. I know. I know. You went on a vacation. You should be vacationing every week. Uh, one is all you need. <laughs> just one vacation for your whole life. Yes. That's it. It was three days. Seven-day we- work week. Dude, how about these fucking... Uh, France protests because they're just telling them they got to work more. Yeah, wait, yeah. what? what's going on? Fra- France doesn't get enough credit for being, like, the kings of protest. Also, France owned, like, half the world, and then they surrender once, and now they're pussies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. It also was that fucking, uh, what is it, the, the Maginot line they built that the Nazis went through in, like, a day? What's the Maginot line? Uh, yeah, that was, like, their big... Uh, line of defense for World War II. You're thinking of Sean White. <laughs> Sean White. <laughs> Sean White. Yeah. Jump to the the line. Line. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, they built up this huge line after World War I, uh, and the Nazis went through it in like one day. They blitzkrieg it. Yeah. Nazis are so badass. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> um, from a t- purely design standpoint, good logo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Memorable. Yeah. Memorable, yeah. Sticks with you. Yeah. Uh, you, when you're making a logo, especially if you're like a band or something like that, you want it to be very draw. You want to pe- people to be able to draw it. Like uh, the band Black Flag. They want yeah. kids to be able to spray paint it. Or Nazis. Yeah. That is dope. But in France, they're going from 62 to 64 as their retirement age. 
That's what Macron's proposing. And that's what has gotten everyone. And that's upset. why everybody's proposing, or everybody's protesting rather, and everybody's just furious that they're going to have to work two more years. Yeah, in, isn't it in France like when you hit you like legally can't work? They retire they, they're you. Not even not like they're working to begin with. They take all of August. Like off. Six what, what holidays are a year. What do people do in France? Are they mimes? Smoke cigs, Smoke cigs. Yep. Big bread. Yeah, they walk with a grocery bag with a baguette sticking out. Mm-hmm. Ladies are busy growing out their armpit hair. Oh, their yeah. hair. Bicycles. You know what I think it is, though? Macron m- married his school teacher, who was a Whoa. significantly older woman, very French of him, but he probably just wants her to get back to work. Yeah, he doesn't want her in the like, house. Yeah, she's probably at home fucking yapping. Wait, not how old is Macron? How old is her, his uh, wife? I think she's like 20 years older than she's 69. But wait, oh. wasn't he with an Olsen twin before that? What? I swear to God. I don't know. I swear, like, I swear the president of France, I don't know if it's the current one, but was like 58 and he was with one of the Olsen twins like Damn. years ago. Is that true? I, I'm pretty sure. If you're uh, French, dude, it. why are you not living in America? You just clean up. Yeah. I mean, I think he's cleaning up over there. Yeah, true. He's getting both ends of the spectrum. What was the What was the uh, Italian guy? who was just an all time pervert. Uh, Berlusconi. Berlusconi. Yeah. Berlusconi. Who do you think's more perverts, French or Italians? Oh, Italians. Italian. For real? Italians are the kings. Of what about Pepe Le Pew? Oh. Was ta- he was uh, rapey. Menage a trois. <laughs> yeah. Is that perverted? No. Wanting to fuck two people at once? <sighs> are Italians, but are Italians horny? Yes. Extremely. Tony was was always fucking, but I don't think he was ever horny. True. He's Italian American though. But yeah, fat people can't get horny. There's a governor on their horny. You're saying? Yeah. What? Are, you're at Kate. It seems like you're about to protest that. No, I've dabbled. <laughs> dabbled. No, they they can. Italians? Oh, I thought we were talking about larger fellows. Oh, large, large guys. No. No, I mean they can well, get I've horny. I've dabbled both. But I know that if I was. 30 pounds lighter. He's kidding. Tony was, Tony was always horny. Yeah, he was. Yeah. His gumas. I think Italians fuck out of obligation. <laughs> just to show, just, just to, to show prove up. they're not gay? Yeah. Constantly they just don't want to, they're, they're so homophobic. Yeah. They just, they. Look, I fucking the pussy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, sucking a dick. Their life is just at the factory, like zero day. you know, they have to reset it. Yeah. Zero well, isn't days. Isn't there a word like machismo or machismo, yeah, machismo. or whatever? Yeah. Like. They got hair, they fucking. Man. Yeah, they go, they finish fucking and they're like zero days since anyone's been able to claim I'm gay. Yeah. Or the timer starts again. You, you're you like, every second you're out of a pussy, you become a little more gay. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just have to replug in like the Matrix. Yeah. Or a phone. <laughs> <laughs> or a phone. Either or. I was thinking of them sleeping in the pussy like a pod in the Matrix. Oh, and wake up. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> That's how they become Flushed Italian. Flushed out. <laughs> That's actually why they, like, <laughs> all Ita- sores. Italian personality traits are just because they sleep inside of pussies. Yeah. That's why they're like that. Yeah. So, and then, like, American Italians have kind of lost that luster. They're not sleeping yeah. in pussies anymore. They like cashmere. They like well tailored fits. Yeah, you know what I mean, speedos, yeah, nice shoes, speedos, yeah, that type of shit. Leather. Italians are perverted. Yeah, they're the kind of guys that like grab you by the hips and be like, "Hey," like yeah. grab a woman <laughs> by their hips. You know what I'll I mean? Show you, yeah. <laughs> French guys grab like they'll maybe goose you. Yeah, who invented goosing? Ooh. What's what type of word is it? English. Goose. Or Technically, is the definition of goose? You just grab them. I think it's a pinch. I think it's a pinch. A pinch. Yeah. pinch. yeah, it's a little. I watched this video the other day. I guess it was a huge problem in London in the seventies. Guys goosing ladies on this, like wherever they went, just goop. And so the ladies started goosing the guys all the time. Oh no! There was this lady reporter from the news going around just following businessmen and doop. Yeah, goose like, did you like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's literally did. watch it. It was. <laughs> did you know what I'm talking about? No, exactly. They're yeah. like on a set of stairs. And oh, can we just, watch it? Goose and everybody that goes by. It's been going. Uh, yeah, old men going around. Some of them are pissed. Some of them were kind of like, yeah, I kind of did like. I never. Goosing <laughs> was big in our high school. Really? I got goosed a lot. We always used to go oil check. Ooh, well, that's the butthole now. The credit card. Oh slide. yeah. That's. It's weird though to, like, do you get turned on when you goose someone on the train? <sighs> No. I'm saving this thought for, I'm saving this inch of flesh for later. Asses are more smackable than pinchable. Yeah. I wonder what they're, the, what they were trying to do in London back in the day. Like what were their, what was their the p- purpose of all the goosing? Just to kind of like remind women that men were still on top? I think so. Yeah, I think it's more of a It's power. a compliment. Chill out. Yeah, no, totally. 
Just means he likes you. If you smile a little more, you wouldn't get goosed. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice. As a guy, it's nice to get goosed. I don't like getting goosed. Uh-oh. You don't? Well, where do you goose? Your rump. Oh, okay, I can deal with that. What were you thinking? My breasts. Oh, oh, oh no, God, no. that's a whole different. I'd fight. That's... I'd fist fight. Yeah, that's the. I do that to pound the. Yeah. Oh. No. Get a helmet. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Dana that and I did. Dana beers and I do it to each other, and we both like make each other very angry. <laughs> Just a little, his spherical, little ass, foof man. like that under under the tit, and it's so degrading. So degrading. Yeah. Yeah. You're not to the point where like you can you can tan, and then it's still pale under underneath. I'll try <laughs> my next vacation next year. <laughs> you're, well, no, you're done for life. Yeah, that's true. We'll never know. Fuck. That's what you don't want. You don't want to be pasty under tit. Yeah, well, that's tough. P U T. I had my my uh, my son my uh, tan lines. Old bar stool lore. People who've been around for a long time remember. I had those it's permanent, for, right? Permanent for like eighteen months. I went to the beach. Dave and I did a video at the beach, playing uh, can jam, and I put on no sun suntan lotion, and I was wearing a tank top. And I just, I've never burnt more. My, I, I like don't usually burn. And then I took it off, and f- literally for 18 months, you could see the outline of it. It's kind of cool. Must have been a cloudy day. They say you get more burnt on the cloudy days. That's true. But I don't not know. Wind. They say that. They wind blows that. the UV rays. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I just can't buy it, though. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> that was, okay, so this video was filmed. <laughs> we have a date. I'm getting big Italian vibes from that I photo. I think that video was filmed in, uh, yeah, there it is, all of that. <laughs> yeah. That's like a solid like <laughs> eight months after. I was still rocking it. At least. I feel like it went on a long time. Yeah. Shit never went Did away. Get back. Yeah. Kind of a cool calling card. <laughs> yeah, it people was. Thought, people like legitimately started reaching out being like, my my sister's a doctor and she thinks she has skin cancer. Shut up. You might have skin I beat cancer. It. Yeah, it's the lightest one. One time survivor. Yeah. Is it the, no, that's not the lightest cancer. Um, mm. testicular for men, right? Can't you just chop off the nut? Out of sight, out of mind. That's, I thought like eighty percent of Australians get skin cancer. Oh, uh, really? Non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Foma? That one, that one feels like pretty curable. I thought that was. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't oh know. Boy. I'm not gonna mm. say enough. What's, can you Google what the most curable cancer is? Best, best cancer. Best cancer to get. get? Yes, yeah, so we also have to clean up yesterday when you guys are ready. What? Oh, Big Cat wasn't here for that. We have drama on our hands. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I started getting tweets. So what it was? It was wet came up. Hank got it. Hank said that he texted five minutes. Oh, here it is. And we waited significantly longer than that. Oh, no. So we only had the studio until three. Hank said that uh, he will get wet. He's he's at home right now, but he said he's doing meetings all day. He said he would get wet at home on Zoom if we wanted. Or he said he's happy to get wet when he comes back to the office. So he's going to San Diego. San Diego for a week or yeah. something? So he's, he's very much next- down. He's not. I know, Hank. He's not ducking it. So it's kind of what put up a poll. Would you like to see Hank get wet? I think he fully he, clothed he at home right now, or I want to see him in here. Or you want to see him uh, in here in about ten days? I would wait the ten let days. The, let the, I, not at home. Well, at home he could just change right away. You know what I mean? I can't smell the wetness on him. You want to see it, or do you just want to get it done with? He's fully down though. Is he, he's not running for the I would grind? like to just not get a glimpse from... of his home life. Yeah, I would like to see his yeah. bathroom decor. Okay. Yeah, I've been to his all apartment, right. so I guess I... I... Yeah, and let's like trick him into showing us the whole thing. Yeah, yeah all right, give him yeah, a tour. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so TJ, text Hank and tell him, I think he said he had a meeting till one thirty, and then he'll, he'll zoom in. He has a dope-ass wall in his apartment, and it's all uh, photographs that he's taken, like three-by-fives that he, ha- he just has up, like, plastered across the entire wall. Little collage wall of just different different faces and times in his life, uh, like the movie yeah. Seven. Kind of like the movie Seven, yeah. Exactly like the movie Seven. Right. Does Hank have a pillar in his apartment? I bet he does. Uh, I know you two fucking have pillars. Who? I have the pole. You have yeah, a pole. He's a pole. You have a pillar. I have a pillar. I have two two pillars to be honest. Two. Sodom and Gomorrah. Low bearing. Samson would rip these bitches down. Where's Sass? He's not feeling well. Sick. 
Oh, he got what Owen had. Appendix, yeah. Yeah, appendicitis. That's that's very uh, contagious. It is. He's sick. Well, I'm about to just start getting sick like that. Oh, I can't come to work today. I'm sick, mysteriously. Right. I threw it one time, Sass. Show a little bit of grit. I don't care. Get us sick. Sure. This is gamer tag. Is he online right now? <laughs> Better not be. He won in Call of Duty last night. He beat Pat. No, he Pat was messaging, trying to get Sass to talk, go back and forth. And Sass like wouldn't give him the time of day, and then afterwards he was like, "Tell, tell Pat I just won that game." <laughs> but he didn't. He what didn't. pussy! He's just such a freaking pussy. He, he is gonna get gamer sick. That's like the worst type of sick. Gamer sick? What's yeah, gamer when sick? when you just like get sick, but you it's not because you've been like working so hard. It's just be you staying up so late playing no. games. Oh, gamer sick. In your gross room. Yeah, eating like garbage. Yeah, and yeah. you're just like, oh, I'm so sick. It's like, okay. what have you been doing? You've been like. You know, going to parties or, you know, working really. No, I've just been sedentary gaming. Yeah. yeah. Hey, your body just rejects it. You got to be mo- you got to be moving. Yeah. He even sent a picture of his you gamer set up. That ass. Oh, man. This is nothing like Hank's apartment. Oh, man. That's uh, yeah, that is tough. Yeah, look at right next to the screen. A big ass Aveeno skin relief moisturizer. Oh, oh. He's jerking it. Yeah, yeah. Very dry skin. Jerking it. Two loose dollar bills, a ripped open battery pack, and maybe some vitam- multivitamins to try and simulate sunlight because he's not getting any. Wait, so there's probably people around the world who just have been f- gaming in their room for 10 plus years. Yes. Yes. Although gamers have come a long way in terms of their setup. Like, they have cool setups, the backlight, the cool gamer chair. They should. Sass is somehow still sucks. Sass is Sass is still playing. Uh, he's like playing football with the leather helmet. He's laying in his bed. He's playing basketball in Converse. Yeah, right. There's better shoes out there you could play basketball in. Ergonomical chairs. Why doesn't he just stream? Is that too easy of a question? Oh, I think that's his like his getaway um, get yeah his escape got it got it got yeah, it i don't think he it. talks when he games oh he just sits there and games no, i think he's with his boys uh, so they I talk miss- about like their boy stuff boy yeah, stuff their boy stuff They'll what girls they like for girls they have crushes on <laughs> 100% like who they put, like what their yeah. groomsmen are going to have to wear at their weddings yeah. and stuff like that they're going to make them wear silly polka dotted suits and probably talk so much shit on us anybody any of you guys have a new crush <sighs> Mm. I got one. I don't think so. Oh yeah, my wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking yeah. son of a bitch. Mm. Saw this roller skating video from like some small town in Connecticut with this older dude who has like the long hair, and you could tell he was cool as hell like a couple decades ago. But he was like doing backflips on the rink and stuff, and I felt a little crush on. Him. Oh, okay. Felt a little, little crush. Okay. Felt a little. Okay. Something in a different time, I guess. I felt. I guess, yeah, I saw Marjorie Taylor Greene doing pull-ups, and I was like, ooh, that's a body on her. Yeah, Yeah. you tingle. Good form. Yeah. Great brain. Yeah, good brain, good form. Harmless little crush. It's just a little crush, not like a faint. Do you think Marjorie Taylor Greene, does she like, she knows she's just wild? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She knows it. You see what she I don't like that. I like the the wild ones to not even know they're wild. I'm going to catch a wild one. Yeah, right. Just like sit her down and be like, "You're saying some wild shit." And she's like, "What?" Yeah, you've been wild. Yeah, he's like, "No, I haven't." And you have to just play it all back for her, like, "Okay, I guess I could see that it could be wild." But she knows. I think on the wild side. I don't know. I think so. Playing I think in on it. She wears wild outfits and like, uh, like how, how hollers. Do you guys like keep up with these Politico. Oh, I don't. At all. I know who she is, but that's that's about you, the extent of. Yeah, we have the exact same extent of okay our knowledge. I know she's just wild. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the new tri- the new Twitter algorithms like just putting re- this random shit in front of me that like okay, I didn't yeah. intend to see, and so now I'm just like seeing some shit about her. I feel uh, like I only see shit when she like d- gets something factually very wrong. But it's I think it doesn't cool. matter because that's what gets you the spotlight. These right, days. I kind of so like it's it. Brilliant. There's confidence kinda in smart. it. Smart. Yeah. Being wrong, you can never be wrong. She's mean girl in us. Yeah, you can yeah. never be wrong if you think you're right. Yes. She's never been wrong. She's a little bit, 
Yeah, she's a little bit right. She's not right, which is a degree of being right. Exactly. It's a level of being right. <laughs> she's yeah, she on a scale of zero to ten of right, she's zero, but that's a scale. Yeah, wow. She's on the spectrum of right. Nothing is something. I like to be on the spectrum no, it's of a- right. If you guys were just gonna put on a TV channel just to have on in the background for like more than an hour, so you're not hunting out a specific show. What TV channel would you just throw on and just have sit there? A uh, game show network, but not to play along, but to hear the sound of the lingo balls. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, Ooh. yeah. That's a, that's a good-ass sound. Lingo balls. I found HGTV very comforting. Mm. Yeah. After I had my son and I was stuck on the couch forever, I just put that on for like Like I should days. add a barn door to my house. Yeah, every, they always find a little mistake and yeah. the music gets intense, but then they fix it. Everything's fine. They're like, I just could do that forever. House Hunters? Yeah, Put House that on Hunters. Forever. The, the nice. show I, uh, like when I watch uh, NBA because I have the league pass, after the game is over, they'll just kick it to like Emerald's latest like convection oven. I'll usually keep that on. That's kind of sweet. Just kind of wa- kind of have him walk me through what he's doing. Those are fun, yeah. Yeah, those Does are fun. still do the, the, the BAM? Oh, yeah, he, he BAMs. Nice. Or there's one where... Uh, I think I've tweeted out the video. There's a vacuum cleaner this lady sells, and she they, it can literally suck up bowl or uh, uh, pool balls. Oh wait, our yak ads are up. What? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Yak yak baby Graham's diaper on Vembo. Graham diaper fun. Oh, that's whatever brilliant. the top right one says. It, oh, I'll Venmo Graham's diaper. I'm not reading right the top right. Ha ha. Too far. Ha ha. I didn't read. Kyle, it. what is that? I'm trying to read it. I can't. Read it. Top right, Kyle. I test for KB. Oh, my God. All right. Go ahead. Start. If you can't do it, you have to go get glasses. All right. Ready? Go. If you read... Oh, okay. (laughs) You almost got your ass. (laughs) You almost got your ass. Wait, is that NBA God? The guy that fucked me in trivia? NBA God NBA God bought the top right? (laughs) We just... uh, You have a name to him now? Yak is in a tr- Yak is in a trivia slump. We've yeah. been losing too. Yeah, been losing the whole the whole shows in a slump because Jeff Not is. Me. I oh yeah, Blaze carried your ass. Um, Blaze like, is so smart. As so a smart. Joe's prep gentleman. I fucking respect Blaze so. Much. And Jeff juices the balls for you guys. Yeah, he juices it. He wants Us? to be friends with Patty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the the, the last round was flags of Europe. Mm-hmm. Patty's European. Their niche is letters. <laughs> Patty's family members. <laughs> yeah. The, the round eight was uh, famous famous uh, MMA moves. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck are we supposed to do? Now, I, I, uh, I'm I starting to get my love back for the dozen. I still like to fuck with Jeff. And also, like, there's maybe, like, 3% of the dozen fans that just, would I think, would actually, like, spit in my face if they saw me on the street. Oh. As I said, like, uh, at the end of the match, I was like, the, Jeff was announcing the tournament. I was like, how many do we have to lose to not be in the tournament? And, like, a couple people were like, fuck you, dude. If you don't want to play, just don't fucking play. I'm not begging you to play. Yeah. It's like, I was, it was a joke. Ron, you're in the All-Star we're, game. We can't lose enough to be out of the tournament. That's how good we are. I should not be in the All-Star game. No, you're in the All-Star game. I know I, know I shouldn't be. No, you should be. You, um, you're like the Pro Bowl... Uh, quarterback who will be like first team. You're like, you know what? I'm just not gonna play. And so like, Tyrod Taylor winds up in the Pro Bowl. No, oh, you should be in the All Star game. I'm Tyrod you're Taylor. F- you're you're a fan lightning rod. Yeah, I'm not a. You were about to say favorite. And no, no, not- no. Our <laughs> entire team, the three of us, Stephen Shay, Ron, and I are all. I think there's definitely a, a group of people that would spit in all of our faces. Uh, I was just worried the way for we your like safety it. in Arizona. Just the way we like it. I'm going to cheat in the All-Star game. Yes. I'll tell you guys that right now. And it's not cheating if you say it. Right. Oh, of course. Have you guys thought about cheating? Mm. I, yeah. I haven't. I uh, In what? The dozen? Yeah. yeah. All right, so I've thought about it, but the payoff would, would be so stupid because if you ever got caught... You are the lamest person in the world. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know what I mean? Lying like, yeah. about it makes you so much more lame. We should do. Du- Jeff should do like a open book. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like a, a cheaters. It is tournament. so lame. But when you're in that moment, you think you think there is nothing better and more appealing than getting that question right. Right. 
but that, I, but you that's just not that's like having dog brain where you're like these 15 seconds rule not realizing yeah. if anyone figures out you yeah. cheated they'd be like you would become it's probably what person. like actual cheaters wind up like the, that's the dog brain that catches like the same real thing. life cheat yeah. like yeah. like sexual mm, cheaters they overeat yeah. snacks they overindulge right exactly yeah. and then they're like oh my tummy hurts oh uh, a bunch of people online figured out i was cheating this sucks mm-hmm. yeah we should do a cheaters tournament where it's like the rule is you you can cheat but if anyone can figure out exactly how you're cheating you're eliminated yeah that'd be fun that's genius Mm-hmm. Or like just uh, open book test and the answer time is like way shorter. Like yeah, speed, speed doesn't, it's so you can like try speed. and look it up and like their nuanced answers. It would know. be cool too if uh, Jeff did uh, what KB used to do, where he was trying to entrap uh, liquor stores when he was underage. If we had like a planned cheater to see if s- keep the dozen trivia fans on their toes. Yeah, keep, mole. Yeah, he had Jeff before the ra- match was like, "You're gonna cheat to see if they can catch it." Wow. That's genius. That's actually the excuse I'll use. You're the planted cheater. Yeah, like, no, actually, this was all part of a bit. Yeah, read the script one time. <laughs> Dude, the script for the tournament is insane. I'm, I'm excited. Insane. I have to memorize my lines. You got it, though. It's There's be, enough room to That riff. part is going to be... The lo- uh, 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 Placido Polanco. Yeah, you're good. How'd that go? All right, yeah, good. it was good. All right, nice. <laughs> I mean, it was a little rushed. You were supposed to do that with three seconds left. <laughs> oh, that would be sick if he did script it. Yeah, it would. Jeff, that absolute demon. How, why, 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 yeah. Why don't we script it? Why don't we make it the best it could possibly be? Twists no? and turns, crazy comebacks, Brandon getting like a Mississippi State football question wrong. Some people have, have too much pride. Yeah. Do you think you guys could pull off a fully scripted episode without people figuring it out right away? Like, do you think everybody could act natural enough? No. I don't think. I don't. No chance. I'd be interested to see it. I feel like that could be fun. No chance. A lot of bad actors in here. Yeah. No chance. Steven might be able to. I would give it away in the first round. Yeah, probably, actually. If you did do that, Steven, just never what, tell me. What, what's up with you and uh, you're on your purple shit? Yeah, you doing you doing the Royalty. king's colors? Yeah, you you wore purple yesterday too. Purple and Monday. Monday. That's the data color. Trust it the is, data is brand color. Data color. And your purple shit. What's up? I like purple. It's you your don't purple, like purple rain. The name of the smoothie I famously invented. Couldn't they I like purple? Make, they could only make purple wink by like crushing oysters or clams, right? That's why I mean, it was rich people. Planet Fitness does it. Well, Ten back a month. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I thought Idiot, it was. Nick. I thought it was purple because Idiot. all the royal family had hemophilia. Oh, maybe. probably oh. they just bump into a coffee table and be like, "Oh, Bruise up. loyalty! Bruised. I'll be dead in a day." Matches my bruises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that Tilda Swinton can like trace her fucking the actress can trace her lineage back to like fucking like seventeen hundred years ago or something like that. Like she is like what? so British that she's like locked in with the aristocracy to like one of the top like the three families of england which huh. makes sense because she looks a little weird she looks she does look, she does look a little weird she, can you pull her up i don't know who i can't place that tilda swinton tilda tilda swinton swint tilda swinton tilda swinton uh, in a lot of is she in a lot of wes anderson uh maybe Wes anderson dropped a new trailer i know i'm excited I'm too yeah it looks really good it looks whimsy as hell oh yeah she is very you kind of tell her that she's been in the uh, oh she's very british very british holy shit how do you avoid hemophilia though i wonder what's hemophilia it's a bruising disease oh you like, bruise super easy they, right. they okay. all fucked each other and yeah like you literally you'd like stub your toe and be dead oh internal bleeding right happened to the Russians it was so too. easy to die back then it yeah was. No, there was less diseases back then. Oh, you're right. Sass would have died at a very young age. I think I would have been a cobbler. Yeah? Yeah. Pie maker? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think I'd haberdash. You think you'd have a haberdashery? I think so. Uh, yeah, probably. KB, how about you? Ostermonger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sell some gourds. I don't know what I, I think would I'd be like a sea captain's wife. I was really good at making stews. Yeah, you would. Uh, over like a pot. Yeah. What would you All do when your husband was away for like 
12 years at a time. I'd be up in the little watchtower on top of our house waiting, mm. looking There's for him. Always looking. There's always looking, making stews. Cat, you'd make rope. I think I was going to say, I think I'd just be like the saddest strong man. <laughs> I'm not very strong, but back in the day, I would have been a, a behemoth. You would have yeah, been, the, been. Yeah, big yeah. Big. People would have been like, "Look at this guy." Do you it's think big cat from Yorkshire? You don't know about him, and then I'd just be like, oh, I, "Yeah, don't ask me to pick up this rock because I'm not that strong." <laughs> Lifting the dumbbells yeah. with the round. The yeah, round yeah. Face. Right. you must be the strongest man. You know, this side of the teams. I'd be like, "No, actually, my core strength's pretty bad. Legs are kind of skinny, so I think, yeah, well, think I'm strong." How do they weigh things back in the day? How did scales stone? Yeah, I guess that's stone. A stupid right? question. Just displacement. Yeah. Like uh, original barbells. Like how were they making sure? How were they calibrating to know how much an old barbell weighed when it was like the big round ones? Oh yeah. How did they know how much anything weighed? Isn't it weird to think about like forty years ago? There just weren't gyms everywhere. Crazy. People weren't jogging. Yeah. We were just living yeah. their life, not being like, oh, got to go to the gym. Yeah, when did people start jogging? Um, when the suburbs started okay. popping up in oh, that would make sense. upstate New York. But they've been doing the Olympics forever, and that was running marathons was like always part of it, right? Yeah, that part, but I'm saying like the recreational just gym. Just neighborhood jogging. Like you wouldn't see it in medieval. Well, right? like do you, you know what happened in the 1904 Olympic marathon? No. <laughs> I'm about to find out. <laughs> I think like two people finished. Everyone was like getting rat poisoned and uh, <laughs> died. Have rat poison? What? On the Why? Well, something like that. I wonder what kind uh. of shoes they were rocking with. They were definitely trash. Oh yeah. Oh. I had yeah. like a big buckle on them or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pilgrim horse, shoes. Horse shoes. <laughs> when did the first gym, TJ? Look that up. Like recreational gym. How old are gyms? I bet you there was one question. in Rome. Jeez. I bet you there was one in ancient Like Rome. gladiators had to get yeah. buff. Right? No, but I'm saying like, oh, we have oh. breaking news. Oh, oh, there he is. Hank. <laughs> What's up? You ready to get wet? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> is Brandon there? No. Damn. He took the 14K and went and bought a house. Sad. What uh? We want a little tour though. <laughs> a tour of what? Your apartment, my office. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you the. Uh, I'll give you my office. Do you have, do my you office have a, tour. a photo wall? Uh, oh, please. I do have. A, I have. I. I condensed my photo wall. Roan came to my apartment and looked at it, and I didn't like his reaction. So I. I <laughs> oh my oh no! Hey, what was his reaction? Yeah, he already brought it up. <laughs> he was just like, "Oh, this is nice." Uh, oh, that's I, fucked up. I, that's bullshit. I was like, this is dope as fuck. I like spent minutes and minutes looking at it while you like, uh, I if guess. I flipped my screen. Look at that well, no, I, well, I was already in my own head because it was like I had other uh, guests come over and be like, that's a lot of pictures. And I was like, shit, maybe it's too many. So I, 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 I shrunk it. I put it on a different wall. How do I switch? There it is. It was bigger than that. Whoa! It, it used wall. to be a lot bigger. What? Wait, this is, a, yeah. See we see some get. of these. Can you, am I on it? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Let me see. Is that was see, the we got billions. Oh, from nice. One of my favorites. <laughs> oh, J Lo, A Rod. Oh yeah. Oh. Smelled so nice that day. Oh, there it is. That's it. Ball titties. Me and a uh, guy. That's not you. Wedding. Thank you. <laughs> that's not. That's not you and guy. That's yeah, no, that's Dave and Guy. Me and Guy. Me and the fucking goats. Pedro and David oh. Ortiz. Biz sleeping. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. I, I told you this is cool this as is fuck. Great. Right? Yeah. Why didn't you I like know. this, Roan? I liked it. Hank, fuck you, dude. I was so complimentary. I, I over complimented. That, that's that's your thing, though. Uh-huh. It's, now the cat's comes on the off. back, bro. <laughs> wow. That Bill I, Walton. Oh, oh it was too sad. nice. Ah, uh, yeah. And this is this is the this is the office, the gambling setup. Oh, nice. Where I do my meetings, Peloton. What is the? Is that like an outdoor, like, uh, nightstand or like coffee table? What What is that? That's something uh, outdoor, outdoor furniture. Yeah, that's outdoor, outdoor furniture. Bun rolling yeah. table. Bun rolling table. That yeah. was like you know, Target didn't have any indoor ones, but I needed a table. Yeah, is you that, know how it is. Is that mesh? That looks like, yeah. Metal? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's metal. 
Yeah, you, you, that's nice. That'll last you a long time. Yeah, oh, you eat yeah. a hot dog on that after yeah, you finish nine holes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's a it's a fucking man cave. Okay, you ready, right. you ready to get wet? Yeah. Yeah. What? what, what oh, I nice rugs. Yeah, fully clothed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! How many? Come on! You can't pass through what? that thing without oh, you know. A couple. Oh, Come on! Right, Come on! Mm. Wide grip. All right. Come on, wide grip. Here bro. we go. Oh. All right. <laughs> I honestly, yeah. All right. Okay. How many? What's good? Ten, fifteen, Four. twenty. Oh, narrow grip. Five. Twenty. No, until you can't. One. Looks like Marjorie. Two. Green. Nice. It'd be I know, so awesome green. if his ceiling came down right now. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, Hank. Six. Hank. Seven. Hank. Eight. Nine. Ten. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, One more. Oh, oh, man. Man. For Chesty. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, deep, brother. <laughs> You earned your your shower now. Oh, what's the? Oh, it's gonna be cold though. I can't let it heat up. Yeah, right. That's the point. Can I let it heat up? No. (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) This is actually way better than (laughs) if you did it in the office. This is gonna be freezing. Joe Rogan style. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> in the face. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> get the shoulders. Get good the shoulders. Yes. Get the shoulders. Get, get your shoulders now, spin. Hank. Do get it down your spin. shirt. He's just wrecking his face. He just keeps getting the face. <laughs> all right, I think you missed a spot on the face. That's pretty wet. That's oh. a good amount of wet. Did he was full. I turned on the gold. The Give us a spin. <laughs> oh yes, nice. Crush that. Crushed. Ah, feel like Joe Rogan. Yeah. That the ice bath. That's what I said. Yeah. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thanks, you're good Hank. Tomorrow. Or we'll All see right. you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 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 felt good. I'm glad we. What if we? That. What if he accidentally stayed on and started jerking off? <laughs> <laughs> Stripped. Would we say I just anything? I like that he automatically assumed there he couldn't get the water hot. Yeah, no, it's gotta just, be cold. And we're like, yeah, it's gotta. He be just cold. said, yeah, no, it has to be hot. Or it has to be cold. Uh, high noon, by the way. Oh yeah, those are cold. Oh hell yes, hard seltzer made with real vodka, real Got juice, it. sparkling water, and it's actually made with vodka, not like malt. Not with malt, like other hard seltzers. High Noon Hard Seltzer is the perfect refreshing drink for a hot day. And they now have big cans. And I mean big. 700 milliliters of of liquid. Milliliters. And that's peach, that's pineapple that they got. Of course, I'm naturally a grapefruit guy. But a little bit of pineapple, I don't think ever hurt anybody. In fact, I think it will enhance your day. But you you try it out and you let me know. Only 100 calories, gluten-free, no added sugar. Full-time flavors. Pineapple, like I said, black cherry, fan favorite, watermelon, grapefruit, lime, peach, mango, passion fruit, lemon, pear and cranberry in the tailgate pack, kiwi and guava in the pool pack. Look for them on Drizzly or at your local convenience or liquor store or visit highnoonspirits.com to find it near you. High Noon. Delicious. It's delicious. I'll tell you that much. You really it think, is. You think I over compliment people? Sometimes. What? Sometimes. Does that bother you? No. That's a good. No, it's it's not bad. But sometimes I'm like, oh, that that may have been joking, and he may be meaning the opposite of what he said. Oh, you're false complimenting people. I don't know. I I meant every word that I said to him about his nice wall. I think that other people will do good walls because because I think he made his mistake was shrinking it. It should have made it bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Always got to go bigger with the with the photo wall. It's great memories on there. Yeah. Every time you zoom in, there's some sweet ass fucking memories on there. I love memories. Memories rock. Some of them. Yeah. I hate bad memories. Right. Love good ones. 
I love bad memories. What? I Why? love like com- like getting in my notes app and like going through my worst moments of each year. And it just it's something about it is therapeutic. Good spiral. Think about how bad that was and how good everything is now. You have those in your notes app? Yeah, best That's and good worst. Good perspective. Bad memories are good. You're a pretty sound guy. But what about bad memories when they're like just happened? Mm. They're the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got Steven. The sweet isn't as sweet without the sour. That's true. You always do say that. I if do. You, if, you, if they don't. I swish your ain't. You don't have haters, you don't have fans. So. Also true. <laughs> Fuck the haters. Until, I, except for when you are hating on someone. Oh, that's it, true. Man, it feels damn nice. It. God damn it. I do like to hate. That does. You kind of got me on that one. There's a little bit of hate in your heart. Yeah. Everybody does it. It's a tiny bit of hate. Uh, you find out, though, what that hate is coming from. Mean Girl style. They, I, I listened to some of their podcasts after you mentioned it, Roan. They really did play that perfectly. Oh, yeah. It's becoming the victims. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Genius. Just chef's kiss. Flipping everyone. They have other funny clips, too. And when you get to appreciate them for being funny, they're great. I found w- there was one where they were, like, trying to think of an Italian last name or something. Oh, yeah, I saw that. See it? And they were, like, Hargrave or something like yeah. that. <laughs> 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 Jordan, I think, was like, oh, yeah. I think Jordan said, like, Woodruff is Italian. Yeah, and like, Alex was like, no, it's not. And she's Hargrave. Like, it was something along yeah. those lines, like Sheffield or something like <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got to find the clip because I was looking so hard for it. I couldn't find it. I was gifted it on my algo, and then I tried to go back and uh, refine it. I couldn't. we got to find this. Yeah. Teen girls talking Italian names. They almost got it. So close. It's great. If you look at it as entertaining, it's entertaining. That's what everything should perspective, be. Perspective, like man. Right, like what? Put on put on some perspective. Yeah. Is that a missing mystery cup Friday? Huh. You don't you're not gonna have a fucking clue what's in the cup. Damn it. Who's here for that? One, two, three, four, no. Oh, Brandon. Friday? No, I'm out. You're out Friday? Uh, oh. Next Friday. Huh. So whack, bro. I'm I out. could uh I could use you Friday as well, Ron. Okay. Use me up. I'm here. About Thursday, Friday, possibly Monday, Tuesday. I think, I think I'm the only person in that can host the a, a gambling centric, centric show before this. Pick Central. That's not what it's called. Oh, Nick Central. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about it, Kate. I love gam. I just started gambling. Yeah. Yeah, I've won twice over the weekend. What? What? Yeah. Oh, what? I'm I'm up like 375 bucks so on the Barstool Sportsbook on? app. I did. Uh, Oh, uh, San Diego to win, or yeah, and then I did another team that wasn't supposed to win that won. I forget. I got to look at that. Just pick the teams that weren't supposed to win that are gonna win. Well, I wait till the game starts, and it's a few minutes in, and then I go with my feeling. Oh, and it, it's been working. What if Kate is a savant? Yeah, sounds like she is. Yeah, two and zero. Oh. It's in here somewhere. Probably the signs. Like you went to oh, yeah, I did. Marine. Uh, you were in San Diego for basic mm-hmm. training. You just do the opposite of what everyone thinks is going to happen. It usually works out well. And Florida Atlantic winning. Okay. okay. And I had San Diego State beating Alabama. There you oh. Go. Put 50 bucks on that. What? How? Oh. Made 225. Yeah. Oh. Just it's saying. It's a big upset. Not too shabby. No. It's good. Where'd you get that ding dong? Fuck, bro. I've been stashing ding dongs over here. Just, just by me. I haven't had a ding dong in a while. And they're so fucking good. So like, good. The face you made was pure bliss. Yeah, it came. Mm. It was just so nice. These tasty cakes. Tasty cakes are so fucking good. Peanut butter ones. Nutty are bars. The best. Is it the, the peanut butter nutter? No, what? Nutter butters? No, not nutter butters. Nutty butters. Little Debbie. No, what's Nutty the buddy? sticks? Yeah. The little Debbie. Yeah. Yeah. Wafer with the wafer. Those are elite. Wafer is my favorite food. Star Crunch. Uh, Cosmic Brownie. Cosmic Brownie. I How said do they Star make Crunch Cosmic, Cosmic Brownies Brownie. so good? Like, I've had so many bad brownies. Cosmic mm-hmm. Brownies are just amazing. So moist. Yeah. And the perfect chocolate level. You ever have a dry brownie? It ruins your day. Yep. Bad memory. I put that in my notes. Yeah. Out. Mm-hmm. Had a dry brownie today. Never again. And then I'll just do it again. 
Brian. <laughs> what are you about to say? No, no to bra- no to brownies maybe. No to brownies when they're like burnt and hard. I like them. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's cookies. Cookies are the best. Cook, you cookies I over think everything. Cookies are the best. Oh, I do have a correction to make. Um, I'm very dumb. And my wife pointed out to me because uh, she sometimes watches the act. She said that uh, when Kate said she puts milk on her ice cream, that's a milkshake. And I was like, well, when you put it like that. Yeah. Oh, You're probably think, right. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't think about it at all. It's a milkshake. I was like, holy yeah. fuck, that is, is a milkshake. Mil- yeah. That's literally just a milkshake. Thick milkshake. And I love milkshakes. Yeah, you yeah. do. So. Unblended, so it's mi- the vessel kind of. But it's de- like it's a, a deconstructed milkshake. Yeah. Right. And I fuck. heard from a ton of people who are milk yeah. pourers on their ice cream. Well, I'm, I apologize because I, I didn't. If you had said. Thank you. I make at home milkshakes, I would have been like, I'm in. Well, the thing is, I don't super swirl it, though. Like it's it's You're sitting in there milk. like cereal. It's like a milk moat. But then the outside of the ice cream gets that milkshake consistency, and I like kind of keep doing it like that. Got okay. It. But you make like an island in the center. I'm an idiot. Ice cream. Yeah, and then the milk gets better and better you, you, as you erosion. Yeah, it's erosion. Eating like milk with a spoon person. does sound. It feels like um, we're past that as a society, though. You know what I mean? Cereal. I know, but that's not the main vessel. Like if we if there wasn't the the flakes in the bowl, we wouldn't just be having a spooned souped yeah milk, milk. huh? But Kate, you snack different, and I appreciate it. I feel like yeah. you're innovative. You're the Marjorie Taylor Green of snacking. Thank curious you. about it, you, you definitely are. Yeah. You're curious about snacking. Very curious about snacking. Reese's puffs on a PB and J ever? Yeah, I've done that. Of course, of course you have. That's I actually like sour cream and onion crinkle cut chips on my PB and J. Uh, I no. bet it's good. Oh. I know. Yep. I bet it's good. No. I bet it's good. It's good. I'm telling you. You lost me. Try I bet it. The sour cream and onion doesn't overpower anything in there. It's like a light enough flavor that it's more the texture. Yeah. Gives you a little something. Goes with the peanut butter. Where the hell are you going to be on Friday? A wedding. Where? Oh. Wheeling. Yikes, Nick. Nick. Yikes, bud. Nick, what happened? No bueno. What happened? I didn't get I didn't get the invite. Do you know this person? Hey Pete! What was the source of the fallout, boy? <laughs> Talking the mic. People are saying you're pro tornado. I you think you're misrepresenting the situation. Okay. Well, I just want to let you know. Started a thousand dollars. I said that's absurd. These poor people in Mississippi. Pro tornado. All right, cut his mic. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. All right, Nick, what, whose wedding is it? Shelton. Didn't go as well as I thought it would go. Pete. Freaking gingham style over here. Chad is firmly anti-Pete. Yeah, no, I mean, he's mm-hmm. pro-tornado. Shelton? Shelton's. And you didn't get invited to his wedding? No. What do you want me to do? In a good word? Plus one? Yeah, yeah he can like, be your like, plus like, one. Hey, did you forget, just maybe shoot off a text being like, hey, Nick was wondering... Or put Nick on the group chat and make everybody else uncomfortable. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, hey, you know I work with Nick. Or like, what day are we meeting up? Like, what time are we meeting up on Thursday night? And Nick's in the group chat. Yeah. They all have to acknowledge it. Just be like, hey, dude, uh, just just quick, uh, like, need the quick itinerary for this weekend so that we're all on the same page. Got it. And then, Nick, you reply, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I should be invited to this wedding. You should be. This is my first wet uh, summer since my early 20s when I have no wedding. Yes. Yeah, I'm in it's a drought. The best freedom ever. I kind of miss it. Yeah, I miss. I miss, like, the bad obligations. I was like, damn, I haven't had yeah. to do some shit that I didn't want to do in a, in a little bit. I have, like, two vow renewals, but that's it. How, you have people, <laughs> friends old enough, they're doing vow renewals? <laughs> like, how long have they been married? You have to go to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. People get really touchy about vow renewals. How long? How I'm long? The best man of a vow renewal. What, I mean, you don't have to do that, right? I'm the best man. You don't have to get your vow. It's automatic. Yeah, they're, they, they don't. I don't over. think they expire, but I think they just. Oh, no, they do. They have an expiration date. No kidding. Nope. Not mine. <laughs> Life. <laughs> yeah. No, I think. See, Ron, I I disagree. I I guess maybe it's because that like, those like two or three years that just crush. Your summer, where it's like yes. after party, it's wedding. been seven straight years of my summer getting crushed. You have none this year. I've had like no fewer than four, and now I have zero. 
So I nice. maybe maybe not going straight to zero. Like if you had one, it'd be nice. Be, one would be nice, but like I was at nine some summers. Holy fuck! And then now it's you got too many friends, bro. I'm not even really friends. So I'm just like, I just stopped going to them. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. I gotta go. Are you like the life of the party? Do you get the dance flow going? I'd I get out on the dance flow, but I I'm not really like the center of the dance flow. But I'll be strength in numbers out there. Okay. But I'm not gonna be like jumping in the middle doing like yeah. the fucking worm or some shit. That's like the least human I ever feel when the dance floor starts getting popping. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Just can't do it. I can't yeah. even. You gotta pre- make oh. a can't choice even right then and there. To yeah. Do it. Wait, wait, that goes against the picture. I see all the saw. normal people. They look fine. Not even like they're not even doing anything drunk. embarrassing. And I just can't do that. Yeah. yeah. You got to get really drunk. I can't do that anymore. Uh, was that high school, that photo of you on the dance floor where you're like crushing it? 20 weeks ago. Yeah, I don't know what that <laughs> what was in. <it? laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyle, you're not really yeah, are dancing. You sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're just a. <laughs> A total introvert. <laughs> Dude, what song was I playing? am an introvert. Johnny be good. <laughs> um it was the it was the Jailhouse Rock. Party like a rock star. He looks like inside though, he's like, I feel so in It was one right with now. the two guitars. <laughs> yeah, you could see it. Two, two, two guitars. guitars right there's both of there. you guys rocking out. So the two inside. guitars. Kyle, <laughs> oh, that's so unlike you, man. <laughs> I know. Right. That was oh, it's um, in there, bro. I I disagree. I think it's in there and you're fucking building this fucking case around it that we need to chip away. And that was when it. I was so sober and socially uncomfortable that I would, I would like over- overcompensate by pretending to be uh a wacko. <laughs> no middle ground. That. Yeah. Makes yeah. Sense. No middle ground. Sometimes it's probably a release for people who uh feel a little bit of the pressure. Yeah. Did you guys see uh, speaking of like weddings and events, did you see Ty Lue's clip? The he's the coach of the Clippers. He said that he has he had seven people in his life die in the last year, and he missed all their funerals. Yeah, what? Yeah, what a weird thing to. Bring. And he, it was a flex. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm built different. You, <laughs> you find that clip, TJ? I was would like, almost be understandable, more understandable if they all died at the, in the same event. Yeah, right, maybe right. maybe that did yeah. happen. Maybe that's what a boat crash. a boat sink. Yeah, what a weird thing to be like. See me. I've had to miss funerals before, and it makes you feel terrible. Yeah. So you know what it opposite. is? I've missed funerals as well. It's not even makes you feel terrible. It actually does feel like you never had, like, closure. Closure, closure. yeah. Right. You 100%. never had the the, fi- the finale of, like, okay, this person is, is dead. 100%. I respect the game too much. And so my thing is, like, just giving the game back what the game was giving you. And so respect for the game. Put your work in every single day. Don't cheat the game. Don't cheat the process. And things will work out. And, it's, and the last thing is just being a good person. It don't hurt to be a good person. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter how many tough days you have, we all have bad days, but you can always be a good person. And so um, sometimes it could be to a fault. You know, since December, I lost seven family members, you know, <laughs> from seven. Mexico. Seven? But, uh, we lost six games in a row. Wouldn't it so be crazy if he's a serial I, killer? I can't leave my team behind. Like, And I know I should be there for my family. And it's been a tough time because my family wanted me there. And, and we're no going through shit. some tough times right now. But people don't even notice, but like, Seven family members since December, and I ain't go to one funeral because we lost five be games a in a row. Person. Like, yeah, so yeah. Like, well, I can take the easy. Yeah, way that's out not like an indulgence to go to a I'm funeral. Like, yeah, I, I just mm-hmm. like a I vacation. Sometimes you can get a game too much. Mm. You know, sometimes you can get yeah. a game too much where like family and stuff, like real life stuff, matters. It's important. But I was just built different. Like, if we were one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is that's the opposite of how you right. think. Uh, yeah, very ten x built different, way the wrong way. Seven funerals. If I was his, a family member of his talking shit too, and I'd be like, and the Clippers were on a fucking losing streak anyway. Yeah. What does right. it matter to him? Like, yeah, they could have used you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hmm. The least you can do if you're going to miss a funeral is win. Yeah. When I watch basketball, I can't help but think the coach serves little to no purpose. No, I, I don't know anything s- about the sport. Yeah, it depends on the level. I think uh, NBA, and, and NBA coaches are not doing as much. I think it's harder to see a play develop in basketball than in football because a play starts in football from a dead stop and like basketball looks so fluid. Yeah. You can't see like right. is this a play? Uh, is this by design or is yeah. this just them like mm-hmm. hooping like just like do, drawing stuff up in the in the dirt? But I think a basketball coach like a lot of it is just getting guys to play together. You know what I mean? Like figuring out a way to get everyone's ego checked and play together. Managing personalities. Right, whereas like in football, yeah. it's more of a, it's, I guess it would, would it be a 
Demo- not democracy. It'd be like capitalism. Like if you're really good, like you're out there. I I don't know. It's I like guess a CEO. I'm doing a bad job People of say like a football coach is a CEO type yeah. of thing. Yeah, like. but they're calling more. Yeah, they they have more to do with the game plan. I mean, basketball coaches definitely call plays and sets and everything. But yeah, I think getting them. Yeah, it seems like team one. camaraderie is like more important than anything. It definitely. You can tell when teams are not like when teams are playing together. Like that's why the Warriors, even though they won all those titles, like. And a lot of people hate. It. I loved watching them because they played together so well. The but like they major, knew where each other were every at every moment. The four yeah. major sports. What uh, team could make up the playoffs without a head coach? Ice hockey. I'd say. I'd say baseball. Bro. Baseball. I baseball. Bet. They're just really going out. Baseball there. Like, or hockey. Catcher calls the pitches. You know what I mean? There's like. But many. they have oh, coaches yeah. on every base. They have like a million coaches, right? That one is the first. Those base are like coach no doing. show jobs. Yeah, really? first, yeah, first base coach is just put a fat guy putting on tight pants. Yeah, and it's yeah. Just yeah. Chilling. It's just yeah. We could see an old man in a baseball uniform. It's if I had to oh, be a coach, that? I'd be that one. I think. When the Mavericks won the title against the Heat, the play they ran the most was something called flow, and it was there was no play. It was just guys like doing what they were most comfortable with. Right. Their designated cutting spots on to the, the basket. Yeah. But I do think basketball coaches actually do a lot. No, they do do a lot. If you could be a pro coach of any of the four sports, what? Baseball. Football. Baseball. Football would be sweet. Hey, no, football, football would be Football seems like no. so much work. So much dude. stress. That seems like the hardest dude, of all the coaching jobs. Sitting on a bench in the summer, just being with the boys. Chewing tobacco. Being like, all right. Flower seeds. Yeah. If my, pitcher's pu- if my pitcher's pitching well, I don't have to make a decision for at least two hours. I hate being bored. That shit sounds boring as hell. You got sunflower seeds. Yeah. Right. I can't and chew them right bubble now. Bubble gum. Yeah. I can't separate the sunflower seeds in my... Oh no! But football, there's only 17 distilled games. Fucking oh, yeah. high pressure. They're all meaningful, like, and then you're down 17 in the first quarter, and like, the, yeah, like I've just stand here for two hours and spit, chew out a ref, chew people out. Probably the number one chewing out sport. Yeah. And you're just studying draft prospects. Fuck, I, get, guys like me and Che do that for free, bro. Yeah, but you get like every every move is micromanaged. Baseball, no one. They don't care. Ah, free under sixty-two games. Uh, if you lose like a few baseball games, like yeah, it's a long season. And like, if a guy can't hit, he's like doing too much. A lot yeah, of the it's time. his fault. Yeah, it's like true. oh, you're doing too much, man. Do a little bit less up there. Yeah, you have a pitching coach. Go I mean, it. a hitting coach. Right. Like he's got to figure it out. And then also, I always love baseball. Like you'd watch, and there, you know, the baseball manager has like one or two guys sitting next to him. That's just kind of like your your his boys, Larry. Yeah. yeah, you're like, what? What should I do here? Bench manager. Yeah, What's that guy doing. That might be my job. Bench manager. Bench manager. Yeah, it's vibes. Just keep the boys loose. I'm too much of a pushover though to like go up to the mound and just be like, give me the ball. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do. It. It. You never send the pitching out. coach out. Oh, can you send the pitching? Yeah. Yeah. Most yeah. of the time, it is a pitching coach. Not all the time. But that's like breaking up with someone. Uh, sometimes it's not. Yeah, actually, no. When yeah, the manager is. goes and gets the the ball, the pitching coach goes out and gives tips. But I don't want to go out of the game. Yeah, the, I mean, there's been many times where a pitcher will be like, don't take me out. Have it out. Yeah. It's baseball. That was our baseball preview. Yeah, uh, opening day's Yeah, t- tomorrow. So that was our baseball preview. Yeah. Good job, guys. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. wow. We're going to get hot dogs. You guys are just going to bat 260, and that's just how it is. <laughs> and they might be well, good, and they might be bad. Uh, maybe not, The superstar Kyle. is either going to bat 280 or yeah. three or 290. Maybe you know? not, Kyle, with the with the ban of the shift. Oh, really? Batting averages might go back up. I would like that. Batting averages might go back up. The steals might go back up, or will go back up. Power hitters who aren't hitting home runs will be getting more hits. Nice. Uh, the pitch clock? Pitch clock is yeah. dope. People are concerned about concessions now. Oh. Oh. You won't. That sounds like a personal concern. <laughs> it is a personal concern. That the, the People are really wondering short. if they'll get back and see yeah. how many dollar dogs they can yeah, exactly. muscle down. How yes. many beers they'll be able to. You have to get there earlier. Yeah. I used to go to uh, Madison Mallard's games, which they're like unaffiliated uh, summer league, and it was 25 bucks, all you can eat, all you can drink, and they'd open two hours before the first pitch. My God! Awesome. Yeah, that's two hours before the first. That's how baseball was meant. Did you ever just play. not go to the game? No, I go. No, you just sit there and just drink yeah, and eat. Two it. hours and then you yeah. just leave. <laughs> yeah, right as awesome. the game starts. It'd be like yeah. good beer too. Got to get out of here before baseball starts. Yeah. <laughs> what? Who? What's the conversation like? Saying like, "Hey, we should go to a minor league game like coming up soon." I think it's that deal. Just like that. I think it's deals like that, like bobblehead or let your kids run the bases. 
Yeah. Someone just gets to play. Or... It just gets you in. We should actually be that for a minor league team. I would just... love to be the I wacky ideas up. person. Yeah, right. Love. What do you yeah. got, TJ? I can hook that up. What do you mean? I know the GM of the Trent Thunder. Well, let's get him on the phone. Okay. I, yeah, they, they, Trenton. They, they, what's going on in that fucking city? <laughs> not much. That city hey, is. Take, take, take. Oh, that, what a lousy city. Not no, much. they make. Yeah. They Trenton, make. Makes the the Trenton makes the world take. Yeah, Trenton, Trenton makes the world take. Trenton makes the world take. So they're just, the world's just robbing from Trenton? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're manufacturing heavy. That's where you cross over on the train on the way to, if you're going yeah. from Philly to New York, the cheap, into way. PA. the cheap way. Great sculpture garden there. I hit, hit the, the Morgan and Morgan. I'll give you the last one. <laughs> I got you. Morgan and Morgan. If you've been in, injured in an accident, Morgan and Morgan makes it easy for you. File a claim online, upload pictures, evidence to the uneducated, text your lawyer, and get a settlement direct deposited. And you can do almost everything right from your phone. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. Over 800 lawyers nationwide. Over $15 billion recovered so far. I hope you're hearing that. Over 100 offices. Over 30 years of experience. The fee is free. You only pay if you win. Visit ForThePeople.com slash yak or dial pound law, L-A-W, to start a claim. Morgan and Morgan, great guys, great ad campaigns. Great guys. Yep. We had uh, Morgan, one of the Morgans, I think it's me, second generation Morgan, come in and he watched football with us one Sunday. Great dude. Nice. Great, great guys. Great dude. 15 Just tell us, like, that's the type of guy I would trust if I needed an injury law firm. Which totally. here you might. You yeah. never know. Totally. Tank falls from the ceiling. Hmm? Totally. Just us on Pick Central. I mean, Nick Central. Friday, I think. Yeah. There's uh, Marty Mush. Ebo came up and just said, "Hey, there's nobody to go on." So I don't know. Can I come on? Yeah, let's just start oh, the. the list of let's just start the mystery juice. It's and a yak and the yeah. Kate's a fucking savant. Start early. Give your picks out, Stephen. I'm gonna bring I'll have some to play props. Stephen, what's uh, you got some volume with your hair today? Yeah, I need a haircut. I might get one today. Oh. Look at you. Gotta try the sea salt, the sea salt spray, bro. Oh, Got a date tonight. Oh. Whoa. With, with who? who? What's Someone the guy's else? name? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's her birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Where are you going? Uh, some French place. Oh. Ha, ha, ha. Garden? Ha, ha, ha. fromage. Uh-huh. You won't break the bread record. Uh, no, probably not. Yeah, Dude, exactly. my boy is going there today. The same guy that ruined Francis's party. Is he gonna try to break the record? Oh, that guy? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so he's he's the kind of guy. Oh no! I told him. I mean, I sent him the the record. But he, he's going with his. Uh, he's from Rockaway Beach, and he's going with his in laws, and they want to start pre gaming at two for a seven o'clock reservation <laughs> oh at a my French God. restaurant. What the hell are they thinking? <laughs> he might break the record. Like it's a fucking minor league baseball game. Yeah. Pre gaming at two for going a, to a fucking... Ted Nugent concert. Yeah, yeah. A, a fucking French <laughs> restaurant, a Michelin star restaurant. Oh, They're gonna have I to like soak that. up all that booze. Yeah, Kate, these are, these are your ilk. People from the Rockaways are built different. Facts. They really they miss are. Funerals. What's oh, that? Def- oh. Well, they definitely have oh. a lot to go to. Yeah. Their funerals are a hoot, though. Yeah. Well, the wakes. Oh yeah, they get shit faced for weeks. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's Ty Lue's family's fault. They don't have good funerals. Honestly, if they were in the Rockaways, they'd be getting Liddy again. Certainly would. It's a different world down there. They fight. They're like fighting at eight years old. They're like yeah. re- like scrapping, but like pointing people like f- scrapping and like using their hands to like cut people up with like just precision it's fucking sick i had friends from the rockways the guys had all these big deep scars on their knuckles and i'm like what's what's that from and they're like oh we used to play this game in like middle school and high school where they flick the quarters at oh, each yeah, other that was fun. but they would do it so hard they all had permanent scar like Holy shit. they would like we couldn't you couldn't stop till somebody was bleeding i was like that sounds fun I like that's fun. yeah this is a different it's different vibe. sick out there yeah Different Great strokes. beaches, easy Rockaway, and they're protective of their beaches. Yes, they are. You like can't park in town during the week. Like, there's no parking unless you have a permit. So you either need to know someone so you can park in their driveway, or like you just can't go there. It's fucking exclu- yeah. <laughs> exclusive. I like it. Very exclusive. That one by Laguardia? No. I know that's like all the way. All I used the way to have out. an inn at Breezy Point. Did you? I used to have the coveted car. Need an inn. A car yeah. can't even get in. Like, you can't, and then... 
and then oh, I got divorced and I lost the party. <laughs> Great beach. Gotta get out to Rockaway. I'll look up Rockaway. Rockaway there really are. There's a topless beach out there. Actually, like they just opened goes. a hotel, the Rockaway Hotel. It's kind it looks of, really it's very fun. nice. It's an hour and five minutes to drive there. Yeah, it's it's low key far away. Yeah, every summer. Oh, it's by it's by JFK. Yeah, I would get them yeah. work, Asked and I would used to take the subway her. there, and it would take me like two and a half hours to get. That's a different world. Yeah, Thinking the subway is crazy. That's like what the I, was, I was on the subway during like a teen roast sesh. It's brutal in New York. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, they are worse than the seventies. <laughs> they, were, they were like roasting each other's yellow teeth and like making everyone smile and like taking pictures and pointing out Wait, among each other oral uh-huh. flaws of one. And they, they they were like oh you could see them breaking inside, but they were both giving it back, remaining tough. Damn, I got a fit roasted on the train by some teens. Yeah, that's way scarier you when did? they when they go out of the group and they just like pick <laughs> someone up, yeah, pick, pick a stranger out. Yeah, I got destroyed. Oh, got destroyed. I'm what sorry, are you wearing? Nick. I don't. It was nothing of note. Um, Probably your problem. We'll never wear it again. <laughs> <laughs> During Fashion Week too, so I think they were. Mm-hmm. You know, they were dressed up nice. Or not even nice. They looked ridiculous, but apparently that that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Sometimes that fashion does feel like you got to just dress ugly as fuck. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, that's fashionable. Like creatively ugly. That's what NBA players do. Yeah. Big game tonight, Roan. I know. Need need a Bulls win. They play l- the Lakers again. Oh. Play LeBron and them again. Well, yeah. In Chicago. You think LeBron's going to take it personal? I think so. I don't know. In Atlanta or Houston last night. Yeah, for the McDonald's All American game. Did you guys watch that? No. Nah. Little. Bronny kind of was like, he like hit, they were down two with like, uh, 90 seconds left, and they like, kicked it to Bronny. He he like splashed or rattled in a three from the corner. He like a go ahead three. To, it was a very close game. He but he did what he was supposed to do. He might be good. Damn, I'm out on basketball. And then LeBron was with fucking million dollars worth of game. I saw what? that. Jeez. No, uh, Wisconsin played the NIT semifinal last night. Oh yeah, that sucks. How many points do you think they scored in the second half? Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh. 30s in the 30s? He scored 13 points in the second half. Oh, man. <laughs> didn't score for nine minutes. Not great. The last possession, it was, they were down two, and uh, they just passed the ball until the time expired. <laughs> it was brutal. <laughs> they gave up? Yeah. Like, pretty much like they were just like playing hot potato under the basket. Damn, that's so frustrating. They scored like 40 in the first half, too. Brutal. That sucks. Look at that. Look at LeBron. They like a video. Yeah, they like Were they videos. with Antonio Brown, too? Oh. oh. You're thinking of the mayor of New York. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you're thinking of Eric Adams <laughs> with Antonio Brown. Yeah, that's right. Which is also weird. It is. It is. But yeah, they, like it was like a video of Wallow asking LeBron to play him in basketball one-on-one. Wallow would cook him. Yeah, he would. He'll be close. No. 11-2. He said that he could play against Bronny and Bryce. It's funny. That's so awesome if, like, they're both really good at basketball, too. Gilly is. No, oh, Bronny and Bryce, I'm saying. I thought you meant Gilly and Yeah. Uh, I didn't go. Now, now, Bronny, I just, you know, <laughs> we'll be we, we, we checking up, me and you. <laughs> you don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Oh, I'm going to try it Sunday. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that. Back you don't want it with Bryce. I'm just saying, I, like, we got to figure something out. We got Bronny and Bryce for you. <laughs> 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 that laugh afterwards. Charming. LeBron saw the LeBron of foot doctors. Yeah, that's, that was hilarious. <laughs> what a funny way to put it. I just hope he never gets, like, self-aware. He was like, yeah, I saw LeBron. I went to two doctors. They told me not to play. And I saw LeBron of foot doctor. He said, play. Okay. What do you think that I he's going to do? I don't think he will be aware. Oh, too late. Oh, he also said, like, they asked him if he's going to get surgery. He's like, if I get surgery, you won't know because I don't talk to you all in the off season. It's like, if he gets surgery, he's going to post it instantly. Yeah. He's just going to be posting, like, him rapping in his backyard with the, with the boot on. Just laughing with a net on his head. Yeah, he's like, that's your surgery there. 
LeBron yeah. is funny though. I, I, love I, him. I, I have started to think he's very funny. Remember when he had a pretty much broken hand? <laughs> Did he say that? It was pretty- yeah when he they lost the war. It was the famous uh, J.R. Smith getting the rebound oh. going the wrong way. He punched a wall. And he like put on a little tiny baby cast. He's like, I got, they, they told me I have a pretty much broken hand. <laughs> Just, most any doctor who watches the act knows that's exactly how the diagnosis works. Pretty much broken. <laughs> pretty much broken. <laughs> pretty much broken. <laughs> it's pretty much broken. Can I play? Yeah, you have to. Um, it's pretty much broken. What do you guys think he's gonna do when he's done playing basketball, LeBron? <sighs> Run for president. I think it is going to be some shit like that. Yeah. I think he's going to be completely obsessive over his son's career. Which that's what I'm saying. It's like very cool that he could potentially not only have like an insane career, but then get to live vicariously through his sons to do the same thing. I think that's when he's going to start going really manic and crazy. When his Uh, sons start like hitting adversity. He's going to get dramatic Hollywood roles. (gasps) Oh. Mm -hmm. Really? Not yeah. even a side character in a rom com? Oh no, no no no. Been done. You could go the shack route and start a bunch of little businesses. Season five of you? Yeah, he's the he's the <laughs> <laughs> star he's LeBron the stalker in you. I saw an AI of him being the bassist in a rock band and it looks sick. <laughs> I, watched, I watched the TikTok like thirty times. Ron? And, like mm-hmm. Steph was on the guitar, like <laughs> Harden was on the drums, and they all look so cool. They look like real? the best band ever. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who's lead? Giannis was the vocals. Really? Stacked. What are you doing, Steven? Just staying oh. there, funny. Doing some dips? No, I don't think that would be pretty unsafe. I, I'm just stretching out my... Deep, you might as well the spine. Try, try a dip. <laughs> on these? Yeah. I mean, they're both going to cave. No, not if you stabilize. Oh. Yeah. See? Stabilize. stabilize. It's going to break these chairs. No. Just don't let your arms give out. It could hurt your shoulder. (laughs) No. Just stretching out the old groin. What are you looking at, TJ? Trying to find the AI NBA. Oh, I want to see it. I saw it bad. You saw it too? Yeah. I also heard back from the GM of the Trent Thunder. What did he say? Thanks for thinking of us. We are absolutely in. Let me know how we can make it happen. Okay. Five-year-old uh, gets beamed day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't go and watch? And everybody, well, they would sign up their own five-year-olds, and we bean them with different levels of hardness. Right. So it's like yeah, someone's see, getting, wh- see how hard of a fastball a five-year-old can take. Yeah, someone, some of them are taking koosh balls. Some of them are <laughs> taking rubber bullets. <laughs> What other what other things can we do for the Trenton Thunder? Baseball oh. eating contest. <laughs> mm, I like that. I like that. Mm. We should do like um, freeze tag in the outfield during a live game. Love that. That would be interesting. Or like you could play and defense. Like the teams can go play defense. Like uh, it's a, uh, oh uh, yeah, a fly, a fly ball or some shit. And you could try and smack it out of their hands. Oh, one team gets a gun. One team gets a gun. Do whatever you yeah. want with it. Yeah, it's Trenton. Yeah, one team gets a gun. Yeah. It's five bullets. Like Don't that. waste them. A mine somewhere on the field would be cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Damn, how would you guys use your gun? I'd shoot the ball. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I, I would run? stop a home run. I'd rob a yeah, I would, I would rob yeah. a home run. That Three. is good. Yeah. yeah. And then if I missed, I'd shoot the batter. I, you, I, yeah, that would be my goal. Shoot their five best players one time <laughs> each. No, no body or head shots. Yeah, yeah, uh, leg legs, shots. I'm legs thinking, only. Yeah, calves. Keep playing. <laughs> Bryce Harper would play through that shit. You should play a whole game in those uh, stupid like red moon boots that are going viral. Oh, the mischief boots. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, the mischief boots. Backwards day, where you run to third base first. Nine hitter, pitch. <laughs> yeah, nine hitter in the closer. Start the game. Yeah, kind of dope. Home plate has a shower head over it, and it's you might get wet. Yeah, wet wheel. Just That's dope. That's very dope. Make like a uh, like super elderly person be the umpire. We should just make them play football. Smear the yeah. watch a football game. Yeah. Oh, the concessions could be a peanut butter jelly draft kind of thing. Like you don't know quite what you're gonna get. Oh yeah. Can... Yeah. The line would just take, <laughs> take it to be the longest. Line. Yeah. 
Oh, dog shit day, where they just let everyone in Trent let their dogs take shits on the field before the game. No cleaning. No yeah. cleaning. <laughs> that would be cool. Or like no no outfield wall day, and oh. you just kind of can mill like in and out. Like there's like very loose infield wall day. Infield wall. <laughs> everything's yeah, a homer. Just, everything's a homer. You should have show your asshole cam yep. on the jumbotron. Yep. Yep. You got to show your asshole. It's Trenton. Bunt day. Everybody has a bunt. <laughs> Yeah, oh. yeah. You, yeah, you've see lost that. your fucking mind now. Come on, <laughs> do Bunt that with day. infield wall day, and you could maybe have something. Oh, bunt home run. No, I want infield wall day to be literally like three hundred home runs, and the game goes for eighteen hours. Checks take the long ball. Yeah, It'd be incredible. We're like so, two walls. Like there's people between the walls. Like oh. an infield wall, one run, outfield wall. You know. A moat instead Five of runs. the warning track? Alligators? Dragons? Yeah. Alligators in the water? I don't know, dragons or something? Trent, you fucked up. Oh, what about a couple wild animals on the field yes. during the game? Yes. Coyotes. Yeah. That lions. I like that. A couple lions. Capybaras. Do you think the, the Jets wind up with Aaron Rodgers? What's it looking like? I don't know, Mr. Jets fan. I'd say yes. Mm-hmm. Just got to settle on compensation. They said oh, they don't even need a first. Yeah, it's stipulations on the compensation. Take those two seconds, maybe conditional. Want, yeah, they want the Jets want this one of the seconds. The the Packers want a first and a second. The Jets want to give two seconds. They're going to probably land where one of the seconds become a first if Aaron Rodgers plays more than one year. Or like if he had four thousand yards, I was seen as one yeah. of the stipulations or some shit. I hope Lamar ruins it and goes to the Jets. That would be funny. Yeah, Lamar. We had Stav on today to talk Lamar. He's oh, very yeah. funny. Very funny. He's yeah. very upset about Lamar. Stav, Stav is doing like fucking theaters now, huh? Yeah. yeah. He's a big star. Mm-hmm. Blowing up. He'll be in a rom com soon. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, but he won't play the best friend role. He'll be the, th- the other friend. The other friend role. Okay. I'm trying to. The, the, the best. He goes to the other friend role for advice, and that steers him completely wrong. And then he has to go to the best friend. I don't even. I think his lines just piggyback off of other people's. Got it. Or no, he's the guy in the friend group who's fatter. Yeah. Uh, but he gets the most pussy, and the, and the the main character is like, "How am I not getting any pussy? Look at Stav." And Stav's only line is like, "Worry about yourself, man." Yeah, it's all about yeah. self confidence. <laughs> yeah. I think that there's an avenue for him to star in a rom com, and I have totally one in mind, and it's the Glenny Ball story. Oh, about how Glenny Balls is always having these OF girls come in here smoking hot, and they're like dating like athletes and stuff like that, and they're always like, "Glenny, how do I talk to like a guy or something like that?" And they don't realize that deep down, they love him. Yeah, right. he is their love. Is that live right now? Yes. yes, and that's every day, and that's yeah, every is. day, every single every day. Every damn day. Stacking. Some of them that the are New York Post in. today. Yes, he is. Lenny. Yeah. Yeah, the story doesn't surprise Joe me. White. Yeah. And honestly, he's like coming into the office more. Like he's like putting in longer hours. Like yeah. he's in here every day. He doesn't take days off like some other people do. He's grinding so hard yeah. on these whores. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> Fine young ladies. They are. And every one is just like, I wish I could find a guy exactly like you, Glenn. Lenny Balls. Right. Yes, yeah. yeah. and I think that that's a rom-com. I think that that's like a futuristic, like, cool, funny rom-com. Non-traditional. I love the idea of OnlyFans. Basically, it was like, it's like, feels like a big market correction. Yeah. Horny dudes everywhere. But like... Hot the, chicks w- can finally monetize it. Themselves. It's yes. a logical thing guy. in the world right. that people still like, are upset about. We, the people are upset about it? Those are the those are the real perverts. The Christians Who's upset about porn or OnlyFans. They're perverts. Christians yes. are the perverts. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're the original perverts. It's a fact. <laughs> uh, let's do the last ad. Farmer's dog. When you look at bags of dog food, you see pictures of bright carrots and juicy steaks. But when you open the bag, all you get are burnt, smelly pellets. Dog food needs f- some fresh thinking. Feed your dog the farmer's dog. It's real fresh health food with whole meat and veggies gently cooked in a human grade kitchens to preserve their natural or nutritional value. Stella loves farmer's dog. We've been getting it for about four years now. It's super easy. You sign up, they deliver it, 
Uh, you put it in your freezer. You let it thaw. Boom. Your dog has fresh food that tastes delicious. Dog people all across the country have ordered millions of meals from the farmer's dog. It's never been easier to invest in your dog's health with fresh food. Get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food at FarmersDog.com slash yak. Plus, you get free shipping. Just go to FarmersDog.com slash yak to get 50% off. That's FarmersDog.com slash yak. Personal guarantee for me. I love Farmer's Dog. Don't do the old pellets. The pellets will. The, the pellets are making your dog unhealthy. Yes. Get, they're making your dog sick. They're ruining their coat. They're ruining their diet. They're ruining their digestion. Also, here's what will happen with Farmer's Dog. This happened with us. You get Farmer's Dog. You feed it to your dog, and if you have a dog that might not uh, eat like fast or love its food, you get them farmer's dog, and you're like, holy shit, they actually have a dog appetite. We just have been feeding them the wrong food. 100%. Farmer's dog is the shit. Farmer's dog, absolutely the best. So go check it out. Use code YAK, 50% off with code YAK, farmersdog.com. Highly recommended. Comes highly recommended. Big time. TJ, you want to spin that goddamn wheel? Oh, you found it. Nice. Yeah, this is... <laughs> yeah, it looks... Oh, yeah, it looks... <laughs> does look sick. Is that Jokic? Yeah. That what the hell? Oh. <laughs> why would you like that, TJ? Why, why is that something you may like? <laughs> Who's that guy interviewing Mormons? That's like an untapped, I feel like, comedy group that people have been doing. I walked out of the shower. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you at BYU? I oh, walked this out is of the everyone's shower doing this, in my yeah. towel and yeah. a group of boys came down the hall. I just held my towel and I was like, hey guys. What'd they say? Hey. Whoa. Crazy. What the fuck? Wild this is yeah. like, a, this is what people are doing. They're just going to Utah. Yeah. It's just oh, asking. yeah, no, these... Yeah. Half the Gators kids who want to get into BYU are TikTokers being like, this is untapped. Yeah. yeah. It's the most tapped thing ever. They're the least interesting people in the world. But it's so uninteresting, it's interesting. Well, now that we know what they're about. Yeah. I get a lot of Iranians arguing over hijabs on mine, like our students. Oh, I got that too. Yeah. A bunch of it. That sounds like you have to go. I think it, it like these videos make it look like I could go. Yeah, they're, yeah. I think you need to go. I'm trying to go. Oh, oh two people. Nicky, yeah. right, Nick Central is going to be so lit on Friday. I'm locked in. Who else should we have? Should we bring? Since it's just going to be the three of us, we could afford to each bring someone. It could be a bringer show. A we surprise all bring plus someone. one. A surprise plus one. Surprise plus one. Someone who can really throw back mystery juice. I got another person. This is what I mean. When I say chew your bottles. By the way, like, don't you do that? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I. Chew them all the way. This little, the whole way around. What is the uh the person who bought the wheel sliver? What's the sliver? So, um, oh, wow. they bought the wheel sliver and they wanted us to do something that I vetoed. Oh. What was it? That? Um, go to their company that installs carrier equipment and climb up telephone poles. Oh god. Oh, that would have been pretty cool. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. If it's I close, I think we should do it. We have so many things that we just haven't done. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but that's kind of the the whole point of the show. So I asked for a veto, and he said, um, I give full control of the wheel slice to Nick and only Nick. Let him decide. Oh. I always wanted to climb a telephone pole. Where's this guy work? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't want to climb the pole, but we should just go to his office. Yeah, just show up. Yeah. I mean, he did pay a pretty penny. He paid a lot. Slice. Yeah. Um, not okay, cool. geez, that's a lot, a lot of pressure. Um, you don't have to answer right now. What if it lands on it? Well, then you'll have to you answer do. then. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah. answering right now. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Reset. All right, so Nick's choice is off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, we spin again, right? Yeah, we do. I don't like the people that don't like the wheel. Maybe you consult with the guy. Maybe I can. I'll consult with the guy. Yeah, I feel like that would be. People who don't like the wheel, I'm not fans of. Who, Brandon? Yeah, I guess it's yeah. Brandon. He also, really like, some didn't. Some of our best, funniest, like weirdest episodes come from the wheel. We don't do it all the time. Wheel didn't dictate today, unless something hung happens out right now. Which yeah. is not. Which is ain't yeah, dry. It's just it's the uh, classic case of um, 
you know when you're when you're on the train and it's delayed and you're like fucking hey the train's always delayed it's like well you don't think about the 20 times it's not delayed yeah you don't think about the 20 times when we don't do anything right mm-hmm. right Just think about the mm-hmm. one time you're like this fucking sucks fuck this best thing about the show is there's one tomorrow Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, there's always going to yeah. be the next show. You guys, all do the yak more than anything else in life. I think at this Probably. point, sleep. Maybe I believe you mm-hmm. do the yak more than anybody else on the yak. I saw that's crazy. Wait, is that true? I the most logged in the episodes. YouTube era. Can we see the stat? The uh, yeah, let me pull it up. That's crazy. Good for you. You're our Iron Man. You're our Cal Ripken. Does anyone have a Cal Ripken streak? We should start tracking that. Oh yeah. Longest streak. Oh, without missing one? Yeah. More than anybody. 416. I need to see that whole yeah. list, though. Yeah, I'd I know be Connor fascinated. has it. He's listening right now. Wow. Oh. Connor, you curious, silky Look voice. Look at my guys. Bugger. These are my guys. Aren't they great? Yeah. Three Shane, guys. Memes. Uh, Who the hell's Max. Shane? What the hell's Shane do? Evan, here's my fourth guy. They just uh, walk around. Guy, they Evan? all walk around together just looking the yeah. same. <laughs> They're just the best. Yeah. yeah. Pewter necked. Yeah. Line. Bass isn't yours. Yeah, they're just going up. Probably Four doing guys. a meeting. It's on the guys. conveyor belt. I gotta go to so many meetings. It sucks. Bro, Tyler Miller had five meetings yesterday. I do feel powerful. Tyler, what the hell? I think Every now he's and like then, number three at the company. Yeah, he's right up. behind Nate. Yeah. yeah. Every now and then they'll be like, "We have to do this like meeting." I'm like, "Who told you to do that?" And they're like, "This person's like, tell me, give me their number." Like, he's not coming to this meeting. He's, he's hanging out with me. Strong, yeah. We're eating beef jerky. Yeah. No more meetings for them. <laughs> and then like shit falls apart, and I'm like, they're like, "Well, we should have been at that meeting." I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Fuck, you're trying to help your guys. I know. Fuck, it always are bullshit. Luke and Rudy were in a meeting for us two days ago. Wouldn't tell us what happened. Yeah. They're real tight-lipped about it. Mm-hmm. You need meeting guys to go to <laughs> yeah. meetings for you. It is actually the one perk. It's meeting guys. Going to your own meetings is brutal. Well, they just go to the meeting for like 30 minutes, and they come back, and they tell me like the two sentences that I need to know. And that's crazy that you couldn't just get the two sentences off the rip. Oh, no, because the meeting person, whoever's throwing the meeting, has to justify the meeting. Steven knows about this life. Yeah, I'm All pretty these much described. Yeah, these meetings, you you know that 90% of the meeting is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, there are updates, but yeah. Yeah, right. Just say the update. Yeah. How many meetings could be an email? <laughs> a lot. 75%. Sounds like a mug. I'm right. Just email me the meeting. Yeah. Text it to me. I think just people want to scratch their social witch. Yeah. Well, they just want to have it on their calendar. So yes. it's like, damn, I got a busy day. They can show. They can take a picture of their calendar and yeah. be like, "Look at this fucking look block. at all these meetings that could have I my entire days of work could have been solved by three paragraphs in an email." I feel like in the meeting I'm in with you, you're pretty involved and with yeah, it. Yeah, I am. That one I am. TJ, do you like that one's good? I need that meeting. You like oh, being a manager? Old blue meeting, yeah. But like I've been in meetings where there's just nothing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Say again, TJ. I do. I think it like helps validate like my progress as an employee here. Hmm. That's why well, you that's like nice. it. So, do you like the actual managing, or is it more like that? It's a landmark along the way. I like getting to help people out that are newer here. I don't think like I was in charge of Tyler Miller. I don't think he needs to be managed though. Like, I think he could be managing people. Yeah. But, like, do you think that everybody who's good at something should be managing someone? No. And that's not exactly the case. There are a lot of managers here, but not everybody, just because you're good at producing doesn't mean you're going to manage. It's more them. of, like, a logical step of being, like, I am progressing here. This is how I can outwardly show it. Yeah. Now, like, now I'm in charge or I'm managing Zuppi and Fasoli because they're moving to Chicago. So I guess that makes sense, like, help organize them when we're moving. That's sort of thing. So, wait, are, do we have more managers or managed? Man- uh, managed. Wait. That's yeah. Who? Yes. We should have managers on the content side. I think that's Just Dave. Oh. What that's would they do? I don't know. Maybe like you're in charge of three people and that you're just like, hey, maybe you should you pitch them ideas or you tell them how you did it. 
my point is that being good at doing content doesn't mean that you're good at telling other people how to do content. Facts. I'm not that good at telling other people. You guys are both good at advice, though. Yeah. Yeah, advice, but that's not managing. That's just advice. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, then everybody should have an advice guy. Yeah, advice yeah. guys make sense. But, like, I would never... I, I'll give anyone advice, but I'll never... I never, like, do this. I bug... Ro- I, I, I Actually, you guys sometimes. Like, I have an idea, blah, blah, blah. You guys are always good at bouncing stuff off of. But. Advice guys. Yeah. Roan's a good hype man, too. I almost always like, just tell it, you, like, yeah, on. do the idea. Yeah, definitely <laughs> definitely <laughs> do it. Yeah. So pretty much is always do it. Yeah, just... You yeah. might as well do it. That point is Jerry. He's got some wild... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because, like, worst case scenario, it flops, but then, like, you could just be like, well, I was doing something. Yeah. yeah. Do the next thing. Yep. I'm in Cringe Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a good Sorry. sip there. <laughs> Got to keep your Whose sip was mouth that? moist. <laughs> Is that Che? Hey. Yeah, that was me. Date night. Don't eat too much. What? Oh, hey, your dinner. Oh, okay. All right. Only Italians. You guys know why uh, penny loafers were a thing? Why put they put pennies in penny loafers? No, oh. emergency no. phone calls. A phone call was two cents. Whoa! Mm. Uh. I thought it was to pay the shoe shine man, but I was wrong. So I checked it this morning. I didn't even know I they guess. put pennies in the penny loafers. Oh yeah, there's a little penny the slot. My mom oh. wore pennies in her penny loafers. Uh, but Latman was wearing a pair today. Kind of swaggy cool thing. Yeah. Kind of like drips them out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's like a feather. Yeah, I think it kind of does. I you gotta be real shined up though. There should be penny slots in modern shoes. Oh. Yeah, credit card slots and phones. Yeah, yeah. That's the new penny loafer. Facts. You know why there were credit card slots in your phones? To keep a credit card in. <laughs> 70 years from now. Fuck yeah. I have a new alter ego. Oh. Ricky Israel. <laughs> okay, go on. Relief pitcher? Or? No, no, no. I own a bar called Iggy's. <gasps> oh. Why is it called Iggy's if your name's Israel? <laughs> Ah, very Relation. nice. Very nice. What kind of food do they serve? Uh, just you could get a bag of peanuts off the wall. Nice. Where is the bar? Uh, it hole. It's a hole in the wall down downtown. What about a microwave pizza? Yeah, you can, but the microwave is oftentimes broken. Okay. It's no, the pizza is bigger than the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> do, they, do they have cocktails there, or is it just beer? It's just beer. Uh, no. You can also get a vodka soda in a plastic cup, but the smaller ones. Oh. You ever been to like a real, real old hole in the wall with like the carpeted floors and just a crock pot cooking something like a yeah, mystery yeah. thing? And you, yeah, yeah. You know who's ruining yeah. those kinds of bars? John Taffer. What? Yeah, he he's is. always like, stop cooking this food like open to the air, and it's like <laughs> the open air makes it taste better. Like clean your grill. Like the dirty grill makes the food taste better. You can't get just like a garbage plate anymore because John Taffer's trying to shut it down and add a concept to it. Son of a bitch. Taffer knows what he's doing. Taffer would hate Iggy's. How many like how many ideas for a re rebuilt bar can John Taffer have before oh, he's just endless recycling? Brother. Endless brother. Before he's just like fucking endless. Oh, you're gonna add a POS system, dude. I don't like Thanks, the tone John. That you're taking just off. come with the POS system off the rip and we can fucking save ourselves some time. That's all he's adding is a POS. What is a POS? He's a POS. What's a POS? <laughs> Damn. What Point is a POS? Sale? Point, Point of sale. sale. What does that mean? The little button systems. Like it just boop, organizes boop, boop, boop. how many yeah. like vodka sodas. It's like we sold 40 vodka sodas, so that uh, should be an entire POS. Entire bottle of vodka. That makes I got sense. the stats. Oh. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh. Yikes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, Roan, you tied Brandon today. Yeah. And tomorrow, I'm passing his Pass him ass. tomorrow. Yeah. Uh. KB, um, look at you. Uh, kind My of God. healthy lead. Yeah, hey, you have a huge oh, wow. lead. And it's, I'm I'm out for the rest of this week, so. KB also has the longest streak at 51. 51? 51. It breaks wow. this week. Oh, uh, Brett, get a life. Oh, yeah, you're out Friday. Fuck, oh, Now I don't want, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not an active streak. But. So it's not active. Oh, it's not an active. It's, it's an old streak. streak. Oh, okay. 51 is a long streak. That's damn near yeah, that's DiMaggio. Yeah. It's what three months of not missing? I suck at math. God, I feel like kind of proud. Embarrassed. proud. Oh. You should feel proud. I can't believe I've done this. Cause you were like, <laughs> too. 
Yeah, you not for that. Yeah, good long COVID. Long time. Yeah. yeah, I feel like some of those episodes you didn't talk. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His endurance never gets below ninety yeah. percent. No, he's been load managed. Low usage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's going out there, but he's not getting too many steps. My stamina levels. is going down, if you know. Like, after an hour, I, I Yeah, I get a little tired, too. Down, yeah. It's like a, an opinion that I can't form one. <laughs> 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 it's true. I still listen to the show. Okay. Ah. Yeah, it's a perfect time. What? Um, college dodgeball. Do you want to talk oh. about it off camera? Or yeah, what do we got to do? Do you want to do it? What am I doing? Paying to sponsor it. How much? They have a bunch of options. What is the option? Let me look at the DM. Did oh, I yeah. say I wanted to buy all of it? I don't think we ever talked about this on air. Yeah, I wanted to buy all of it, right? Yeah, the National College Dodgeball Tournament. The title sponsor. Okay, I have prices for the title sponsor. If you what want. is so it? So it'll be the Barstool Yak National Championship. Okay. It's 8K. <sighs> Is this uh, streamed? Is it going to be on TV? It is streamed. On what? YouTube. What are the other options? Title game presenting sponsor. All-star match presenting sponsor. When is the games played? I think it's April, mid-April. Is it during the day? Uh, I think so. I think it's like an all-day thing. I want to sponsor a game that we can watch. What about okay. the title game? Can we watch the title game? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to sponsor that. Well, I want to sponsor like this, the third qualifying. It's game. April fifteenth and sixteenth, which day. is uh, a Saturday and Sunday. Oh, uh, we're out. Sorry. All right. Sounded cool. Tell them next year put the tournament at one o'clock, and we'll fucking we'll call the games. Alternate broadcast. Yeah. As the broadcast. That sounds nice. You gotta go play roof ball. I want to play roof ball so bad. Maybe you that's figure that out, thing. TJ. Happy Nick's slice of the wheel. I'm, a, I'm thinking about my wheel slice. I'm thinking Groundhog's Day. Uh oh. So almost a year from now, or no? Yeah. You had a Groundhog's Day for a month. Same outfit every day. Same meal. Oh. <laughs> maybe let's do it for month. a week. Or maybe just a week. You can only eat corn, and at the end, you have to show us a picture of your poop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. That's I like you can yeah. only eat groundhog. You can only eat groundhog for a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can eat so groundhog sausage? or groundhog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And corn. No, no, no. I'm, I like that. It's not official. Wait, but Sass does that on, on his own. Yeah, I guess he does groundhog day. <laughs> yeah. I like that groundhog I like the day. idea of having to wear the same thing for an entire week. So Sass has to really vary his outfit. I was on uh, Rudy's Twitch stream the other night, and he has sub goals, and I always think of the goals. And if he got 100 subs that day, I said, you have to buy a shirt off Amazon that I pick out, and you have to wear it for a month. And it happened, and now he has to wear a shirt that says, I'm schizophrenic and have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Is he wearing it right now? I don't think it came in yet, but then he's going for a month. Damn, that's awesome. It'll make it look oh, fucking hot. Yeah, well. If he gets 200, you should buy him a gun. Yeah. 200, he has to carry the gun. Yeah. New York. <laughs> no license. Scratched off cereal. He's got to brandish it in front of the police. Open carry. <laughs> He's got to whistle by the police. <laughs> Twirling it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to tap on a, like a car window with it. <laughs> Ask for directions. Yeah. Uh, am I going that way or <laughs> that way? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. See everyone tomorrow. I'll miss you guys. Yeah. Wait, so you're not going to see gone? us tomorrow? Yeah, just say it. We'll see it. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Fuck. Right. If you're in Houston this weekend, come to Yeah. yeah come to Kirby's. We'll be at Kirby's Friday and Saturday. Friday from 5 to 7 Central. Saturday from 1 to 3 Central. Very excited. It's a cool yeah, poster. It's that cool. What if we just didn't go on Saturday because it's April Fool's Day? That would be funny. <gasps> Damn. Those fools mm. at Kirby's. Do they practice that in Houston, though? April Fool's? No, I think no. you get shot. Yeah, that's a little bit too Texas? In Texas, you'll get shot. All right, we'll see everyone later. All right. Yeah.
Happy birthday, Dan, from school.